guys and welcome back to my channel for those who are new here my name is chloe i'm also very new to youtube and i film lots of disney equestrian musical theater and just basic day in the life vlogs um if you'd watched my last video you would have seen that i went over to southampton mayflower theater to watch hairspray the musical uk tour and before we went to the theater we may have done some shopping and as you've already read probably the title of this video i'm gonna show you now what i have bought um i've got quite a lot to go through so i'll try and get through this as quick as i can so let's get started so first thing i'm going to show you is this gorgeous mickey mouse cushion that i got from primark that's what's on the back yeah i got this from primark and this was seven pound seven pound um i got two um because i like them to go on my bed and they're really plush really comfortable and i thought seven quid can't really go wrong so i was pretty chuffed with that um primark was actually really empty compared to when i normally go so it was really good because i actually managed to get a good mooch around the shop um next so moving on to clothing now um i bought these these mulan pajamas so i will take it out oh child, i've got really bad itchy nose oh. but i was pretty chuffed with my purchases because what i tried to do was i tried to get and buy things with characters, Disney characters on, which you don't normally see on clothing or much merchandise on. So I tried to make sure that what I did pick up, you know, was like, I needed it. I wanted it really bad. So these are actually connected together. So this is the t-shirt, which I really like. Really nice material nice and thin for summer with along with these trousers so i really like them this was 10 pound um i am normally a size between 10 to 12 but i got all the clothing that i got today i got in a large so it was a 14 to 16 because some primark sizes come up quite small so i wanted to make sure that it fit and plus i like things that are loose and baggy so yeah these were size large um size 14 to 16 so yeah but i really like them and also like a top like this i will also just wear as like a normal everyday top because you know no one's gonna notice a pajama top well unless you watch this video of course um next i got these really nice mickey mouse pajama bottoms they are they've got the elastic around the ankles which i really like i know a lot of people like um don't like the elastic around the ankles so they can have like a straight leg quite baggy but i don't mind them these were eight pound and again they are in a size large 14 to 16 um and yeah i just thought these are really nice even just for lounging around in um yeah no i really like them and also the material is quite light especially for summer because i'm one that gets quite hot and sweaty in bed so i like something loose but then i don't like to sleep in shorts i'm a bit fussy with things like that um next is this gorgeous fluffy pajama set with marie let's see if i can get it out of the packaging so again i got these in a size large um but yeah so this is what it looks like as the t-shirt it's really nice soft material so again these are probably more for like autumn late summer time and the print is exactly the same for the trousers but i think these are the ones that if i was going to go on holiday to disney now especially in christmas um i'd take this sort of material so 
yeah no these are really nice really nice quality and not you know start stocking up because you never know how fast winter's going to come weather's a bit everywhere at the moment um next i bought was this long it's almost it is like a night dress um with the mickey mouse be kind to our planet obviously a lot of climate change at the moment so and again this is really nice soft material um and i thought again i could wear this in bed with some like leggings underneath because i don't really like going bare legs and this was actually 12 pounds um and yeah the material is just lovely i just like loungewear at the moment i'm a bit addicted to loungewear anything that's company that i can snuggle up in next one in the same material is this gorgeous dumbo and again i got this in a large this was a 10 to 14 10 to 14 14 to 16 and this was 10 pounds which i really love it and again this i will probably wear as like an everyday jumper like not just a you know a night jumper i'll wear it as an everyday thing so you know i wasn't too worried about spending the money when i knew sort of that i'd wear it every day um next i have this and again same material nice soft jumper this one says it's got mickey mouse on the front like that and on the back it's got a hood it says love the earth so again this is quite nice sort of very how can i put it I right, it's not like really in your face disney it's really it's just lovely and soft i'm so i'm such a winter girl i'm so excited for winter i know a lot of you will probably be like why it's cold um right next now this isn't the same material this is actually a sweatshirt i got this lovely winnie the pooh sweatshirt i really liked this pattern i really liked just really liked it really and i don't i have quite a few bits of winnie the pooh on it but i don't know i really like this again was in a size 14 to 16 and it was 10 pound so you can't really go wrong i tend to come away with um loads in primark because like it's so cheap and it lasts me a long time like it's not like i'm just getting something wearing it for a day and then that's it these will probably last me quite a few years um and the last piece of clothing i got from primark was this dumbo sweatshirt and again 14 to 16 and this one was only eight pounds so i really love that really just i love sweatshirts especially like even when a chilly summer evening you can stick a sweatshirt over and it doesn't really doesn't really look like your winter ready for winter as such oh do you know what? itchy as nose okay next bits are not clothing and um, that's all the clothing i got yesterday um next are these they are mickey mouse seat belt covers so i always when i'm driving like i find that the seat belt really cuts into my neck so i like to have a cover on it so i bought these these were three pound fifty each and you know to be fair i don't actually have anything disney in my car so i wanted something i wanted to change that so yeah i got these obviously i've got two one for the driver's seat one for the passenger side um and yeah i just thought it was a really good idea i just love the fact that primark are doing more and more bits that are disney rather than you know you used to, used to i remember when we first started going to primark it was like this tiny section of like disney clothing and now it looks like accessories pet stuff the lot so um 
and especially where my local Disney store has recently just shot my my local shop my local shop was Southampton um in the Marland shopping centre. Um but due to COVID a lot of the Disney stores all over the UK have been shutting, which is a really huge shame. I used to love walking around my local stop. I can't say it's either shop or store. <laughs> honestly but um i will say i'm going up to london um within the next month or so so hopefully i will be going to the oxford street shop so there will be another haul coming to you after i've been i can be sure of that right next ones i never thought i would actually get in primark because i've never seen them in there before but they have now started doing plushes so now i found this a adorable little flounder i have always liked little mermaid but i don't really have any little mermaid plushies yet i'm still building up my collection um so yeah i found this little guy and he if you press this little button here his little cheeks light up I love, oh my god how cute to be fair i didn't realize that his cheeks lit up until i got home um and I'm fairly sure, if I remember rightly, let's have a look, it'll be on my receipt. Um, he was £5. So he was £5, which I thought is actually really good because I know a lot of plushies can be quite expensive. Um, and yeah, no, really loved him. was really pleased that I found some plushies. But at this point, my basket was nearly full, so I couldn't come away with lots otherwise you know my last and final thing from primark is this gorgeous little patch from 101 dalmatians he's in his little bag he's in a little bag um and outside it's got patch and also if you press the button there's a button on the top of his head his cheeks flash too which i love now he was um he was ten pound, um, but understandably he's bigger. I think he does he does come out of the bag if you just it's only connected by sort of like what the tag is only connected with. I don't know if you can see that. Um so yeah, he can come out and you can use the bag for different bits and pieces if you need to. But you know, I just thought he was really cute and he's not something that I could buy on the Disney store sort of in this bag and I just really liked I like that so much so yeah so guys that is all my Primark bits um the next bits I'm going to show you I got from a shop called Men Kind um as you enter West Quay if you go onto the first floor where Waterstones is it's about I want to say two shops away from Waterstones um I didn't plan on going in here I as I walked past I caught eye of Funko Pops and they were doing a deal for two for £20. Um, as you know, a lot of Funko Pops are normally about £11.99, £12. So, you know, you do save quite a lot of money. Um, I still spent a lot of money. So I'm just going to show you what I picked up in that shop. So I will start with this Jack skellington funko pop number 808 he is this is the collection that you can get for the nightmare before christmas um i love jack skellington he's one of my favorites um and i just i just loved it and i hadn't seen him um online or in any shops sort of available at this point so everywhere i still had to pre-order it so he was the only one that i could really get sort of first hand so I was like I'm gonna do it my next one is Lilo from Lilo and Stitch with a little scrump which again Lilo and Stitch is one of my favorites um this one is 1043 and on the back that is the collection that you can get um yeah, I've been wanting Lilo and Stitch ones for quite a while, so I was pretty chuffed when I found 
that one myself. Um, next one I found was Sheriff Woody. Let me see. Sheriff Woody, and he is number 522. He is the Toy Story 4 Woody. Um, and this is the collection that you can get as well as him. I would love... I would really like Forky, to be fair, and Bo Peep. So I'm going to keep my eye out for them. Because I'm sure they'll be about somewhere. But yeah, no, I really like him. He's got his little lasso, which I really like. So, um, next I found, obviously, I found Lilo. So I had to get Stitch. And he's playing his ukulele. And I sort of love it. I love it. He is in the same collection as Lilo. So again, they are the other ones that you can get within this collection. And he is number 1044. So, my God, I'm going to need a bigger house for the amount of fun Funko Pops that I want to buy. <laughs> okay, these ones, I don't know if you guys have seen the new Pixar film Luca. But I have to get this is Luca on land. So when he comes out of the water, um, he turns into a human instead of a like sea monster. And yeah, so I had to get him, and of course, as well, I had to get. Sea Monster Luca. Um, I love this film. It's such a heartwarming film and the message that comes across in the film is really poignant in today's society. Um, this is the collection that you can get. So you can get Alberto and Gia and and you can get Alberto as the Sea Monster too. This one is 1,055 and this one is 1,053. So they are the other ones that I got. I really love the film Luke and if you haven't seen it yet, it is on Disney Plus, so go and give it a watch. Um, I can imagine you guys would love it. Um, last two items, I got this Halloween Mickey Mouse. A number 795 and you can also get Minnie Mouse 796 on her broomstick and you know who doesn't love a good Halloween Mickey so I was really chuffed that I found him and last but not means least I uh, also got Mr. Potato Head I've really wanted him for such a long time now and yeah, he is number two, zero two, and he is the only one in this collection. And I'm chuffed, absolutely chuffed. Oh, I missed something. This was another Primark bit, so I lied, I wasn't quite done. Um, I got this Minnie Mouse AirPod case, so I, to be fair, I've still got the little white iPod, I, AirPod case, um... And I just saw this, and for three quid, but why not? Treat yourself. Treat myself. So, guys, that is everything in my haul. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I will say that when I went in Southampton yesterday, um, there were a lot of people that weren't wearing masks. Um, so, I think it is now just down to your general and personal how you feel about walking around shops without your mask on. I felt fine um, and I felt quite safe. It wasn't busy. If it was much busier than yes, I would definitely have worn um, a mask around the shops, but I felt quite safe. Uh, I will be going back over to Primark within the next couple of weeks because I'm going to see another show, which I will take you guys along with me to. Um, and yeah, I'm hoping that I'll have another haul to film for you guys. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video and would like to see more, please hit the like and subscribe button below. 
Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!